everybody and welcome back to another edition of Right on Target with Mark and Scarlett. Uh, today we're going to talk about a new revolver that's on the market and uh, something that maybe that you don't know is out there. It's been out there for a little while. It was introduced in late uh, 2015 and uh, they haven't been real easy to get a hold of and recently our distributors have been getting them to us and I think it's a really neat product and I think it's something that you're going to want to see. Um, from time to time when we teach one-on-one -on -one training with individuals that come in that are first-time shooters, they want to learn properly how to shoot before they get into a CCW class or whatever it may be, may be we, uh, we recommend that we start them on revolvers. Now, you may say, well, why you start them on revolvers? Why don't you start them with a semi-automatic pistol? That's what they're going to learn to shoot anyway. I believe that, and I understand that, and I, and I believe that to be true, but, you know, there's so many fundamentals that we got to learn first before we get into that semi-automatic. So like again, we gotta learn to walk before we run. And the reason we start them on with a revolver is because, you see the revolver's clear. Um, revolvers have a hammer, and uh, or what they call in the business a spur. And the reason, uh, the nice thing about revolvers is you can shoot this, you can shoot this weapon, it's a double single action or, uh, weapon. You can shoot it single action by cocking the weapon and using about a pound and a half to two pounds of trigger pull to set the weapon off. Or you can shoot the weapon by pulling through double action, which versus about another five pounds or five and a half pounds of trigger pull to, to, to cycle the weapon. Um, so we, what we do is we like to teach them, when we begin our, our, especially our ladies that take first time training, we start them out on a single act, the single action, sh cocking the weapon and shooting it. Therefore, they can concentrate more on the side alignment throughout the shot and maintaining the side alignment throughout the shot and throughout the follow through. And they don't have to worry about all this wobble that they're gonna get when they're trying to pull through that five, six pounds of trigger pressure shooting double action. So they cock each shot and basically have, to, they can concentrate more on their sights, their grip, their side alignment and their stance and not so much on the, on the functioning of the, of the uh, weapon and concentrate on that and touch the weapon off a little bit easier than what it takes to pull through. So that's why we start people in revolvers. And I mean, basically revolvers are dummy proof. You put five bullets, six bullets in, you close the cylinder, you pull the trigger and it goes bang. Not a lot of bells and whistles to worry about. All you gotta do is learn where the cylinder release is to open the cylinder to dump them out and put some more in. So that brings us to why I'm, the video I'm doing today and uh, and it goes back to the spurless. Uh, a lot of people like the spurless revolvers, which means there's no hammer, and they're great for carry conceal because the hammer doesn't catch on your pants, your shirt, your belt, whatever it may be when you have it in your pants and you're carrying it concealed. A lot of people like the spurless, uh, the spurless uh, revolver. Okay, well, Taurus came out with the Model 85 that has the convertible hammer on it meaning you know you can carry this gun you can learn to shoot this gun you can cock the weapon in single action like I talked about earlier but the, here's the here's the real here's the real plus to this gun a simple push in and twist you remove the hammer and this gun becomes spurless or hammerless so you can carry it that way or you can put it back in turn it and you're right back to shooting sing, double, or a single action if you want to and you have your hammer back on there or your spur back on your hammer. Again, it's just a push, a simple push in and twist to the right and the spur comes off and you have a spurless. Really a neat product. Um, this gun weighs about 21 ounces. Um, it's a two inch revolver. Taurus has come up, I've never had a problem with any Taurus revolvers. Um, they're economical for the first time shooter who wants to start shooting, wants to learn to shoot, wants to get him a handgun. Uh, granted, it's not a Colt, it's not a Smith & Wesson, but uh, Taurus has come a long way in the market. Um, and the Model 85, we've had very few problems with the Model 85. Um, it stood the test of time. So that's kind of it, and kind of it in a nutshell. It's, it's a neat little item. It's a, you know, they call it the convertible, hammer convertible. Uh, you take the hammer in and out. Put it back in when you want to shoot or leave it out when you want to carry so that's kind of a neat item and uh it's something that i didn't know if a lot of people knew it was out there but it's on the market and it, we got them now here at tactical solutions they're like i said they're economical 
So, you know, uh, it's something to look into. So we hope to see you. Come down and see us. Uh, keep watching us on Facebook. Go ahead and keep subscribing to the channel on YouTube. And uh, real soon here, I'm going to be doing a historical um, video. I, I enjoy my history, so I'm going to uh, be doing a historical video on my all-time hero. So look forward to that. Uh, keep an eye out for that. We're going to have that on there soon. So again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.